to my channel um it is finally happening if my future of me does it correctly my online store will be open now <laughs> i think i've been waiting for so long because i was just scared of like not doing it correctly or that it would be basically a total mess or that the shippings will go like different places so when uh wix reached out to me uh i was like oh this is my opportunity to build it in the good way to do it correctly uh like secure so i am very very excited and nervous about this um it's selling my art and i don't know i always hope that people like it and that they get what they expect so yeah <laughs> but anyway so in this video um i'm going to talk a little bit of how i did my website which you guys are going to see that it's very easy to make and if i can do it you can totally do it um i'm also going to talk about how i make my prints uh, what paper do i use for example all those little things that i think are very important and that it can be very helpful um, so first things first this is uh, in partnership with wix obviously and um i talked about it in my previous video which is the paint with me one if you guys don't know what wix is is basically a platform that allows you to build your own own online store, portfolio, business, um, e-commerce. Uh, if you have like a jewelry, for example, a store, you can you can sell it there. Or if you just want, if you're a photographer and you just want to put like your portfolio there, I think it's a really really cool way to do it. Cool thing about it is that they have a lot of templates, which is very very nice because uh, I need a template, <laughs> I need a base to to build it. So that's what I liked about it that you can change a lot of things, a lot of things uh, that it doesn't look like anyone else's, it looks your own, um, which is kind of unique and I think that's the whole point of having your own um, website. I'm gonna leave a link down below, um, so feel free to start playing around with all the features and things. So I took this one that it was like a slime shop, <clears throat> which by the way I love smile, uh, <laughs> which by the way I love slime, I'm like obsessed with, sm with slime, not smile. I started changing the photos, um, like for example the the headboard. Which photo should I put? Like the first photo that you guys are gonna see. So I went through my my camera roll and I was like, okay, I like these five photos of like related to painting or like me painting or like a specific painting. And I thought that would look kind of cool. And I was just playing with like the buttons and the features. Um, and then for example, it had the products, the slime products, and I changed them <laughs> and I put my own products. It was as easy as that. Um, I just have my website here. I think, okay, I don't know if you guys are gonna see it. I'll probably show you like uh, on the screen. But uh, right here, I'm like in the editor. And uh, here's when you can change everything, obviously. Basically, a contact me like section. I think it's it's called like divided by sections. And I just wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to add like too many features because I'd rather have it like simple and this is what you get. This is the shop and this is my, um, my about, uh, my contact and the shipping information and basically that's that's it. Uh, but then like maybe in the future I will add more things. And then for example when it comes to the print, so far I have uh, three or five. I have five prints. So I took photos of the print and I added like a couple of photos of each print just so you guys can see how, how they look and and the sizes and yeah just, just so you guys have more information when you're going when you're going to purchase it. There's also another thing that I was worried, which was the shipping, because um, I want to ship basically everywhere I can, internationally, especially since I'm from Spain, and that that that's very important to me. Uh, it would mean a lot, obviously, uh, that I could ship to my own country. Um, so for the shipping, there's like a USPS um, like option, so I select that and I put the uh, dimensions of the envelope and the weight. That was that is going to give you um, a price, and you don't have to really worry about how much you're charging since it will calculate itself. I, I wanted to make it as cheap as possible to sell uh, internationally, but I know sometimes that can be very annoying because shipping from Los Angeles to Europe can be a little bit um, expensive. So. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about that. So those were like my main talking points about the website and um, at the end I was like, hell yeah, I can build a website anytime, kinda. <laughs> so um, what I'm gonna be selling is uh, my prints and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add some originals yet. I might add the little original, um, which I think you guys liked it a lot. It was the, the girl in the water. And since it's kind of small, I should have right here. 
I don't know why, but the lighting is horrible. But anyway, so this is the painting, but it looks bigger on screen, but it's actually really small. It's like a little square. Um, so I thought about adding this one since it's like quite tiny. Um, but what's gonna be on the website? One of my favorites, and I think my most requested print, which is the girl with the rose, of course. And I've had this for like a year, I gotta say. I feel bad about having, about keeping all these prints for, for a year. Um, let's see, so that was one of my favorite. Um, then, okay, so this print, which is um, Emily Ratajowski. Ratajowski. There's um, a video where I paint her and I talk a little bit of, um, about that too. Uh, I will link it somewhere down below as well so you guys can, sorry, so you guys can check it out too. Um, all these prints except this one are going to be uh, a letter size, which is an A4. Next print, it's uh, this one. Damn, the lighting is so, so bad here. It's this one, and it's the last painting that I did. And I don't know, um, I liked it a lot. And I'm very, very happy of how the, the print came out. It's very, very hard to, to print with the same color, like the exact same color. Maybe some people can do it, I'm still trying to find it, but so far, what I've done, I like them a lot, like a lot, a lot. And uh, yeah, so this is printed in this paper called Photo Laster Paper, it's from Canon, as well as my printer. This is Canon Pixma 100. Pro. <laughs> I don't know if I said it in the correct order, but um, I use this one because I saw this video of um, Audra Auclair. I hope I'm saying it correctly. She's an artist and I love her so much. Her work is amazing and so inspiring and I bought a print from hers. And she has a video of um, how she prints and this is the Canon that she uses. The Canon. This is the printer that she uses. So I trust her a lot. So I bought it and it wasn't that, that I thought it was going to be like much more expensive. Expensive. I believe it was over $350, which is a lot for a printer, but I really, really wanted to invest in this. I would rather spend in more quality than just get like bad, poor quality prints. So that is what I use. And um, I thought about either scanning or taking photos, and I wasn't really sure. So with my friend Lady, well, she helps me with my videos, she takes my photos sometimes, and uh, we took some photos from above, um, trying to be as parallel as possible to the floor. And from the photo, we, I, I went on Photoshop and I just crop it and I tried to clean it up a little bit and then I print, I print it on the paper that I was talking about. The printer always prints darker than it looks because when I'm on my Photoshop, it looks very bright <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is cool. And then you print it and it's like super dark and I'm like, what the hell? Eey. I'm very excited. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ah, finally. Yes. I will leave the link to my website. Ah down below. Um, I would also like my Wix link so you guys can check it out and start maybe like playing around to build your own website. If you purchase any of my art, which you don't have to, but if you want to, I will just send you hundreds of virtual kisses and hugs and that would mean a lot to me that you guys support um, my art, my platform and everything and just the fact that somebody has a piece of me is just crazy to me. Um, yeah, thank you so so much for watching. Bye. Oh shoot, spell. Come on. Come on.